Sit upright in a simple cross leg position, right ankle in front, for this easy seated twist. And elevate your hips on a folded blanket if that helps you sit taller. You want your back straight. You can feel your lower back. There should be no bones protruding. With your left hand, hold your right knee. And place the right hand on the floor behind you. The twist begins. Pause and tune into your breathing. Pressing down with both hands, pull your right shoulder slightly back to engage your back muscles and help squeeze some of the tension out of your back. Complete the twist by turning your head to the right. If possible, sweep your hand behind your back to hold your left thigh. If you can't do that, it's fine. You just keep your hand on the floor behind you. I know taking this or any yoga pose deeper as I'm demonstrating now may be difficult, even discouraging. However, we practice yoga starting from where we are. What's important is you develop an optimism, a positive attitude that with practice, poses that are tough today are easier tomorrow. And remember, yoga isn't just about the form. We want balance between movement, breath, and attention. Release and change your cross legs so your left foot is in front of the right and your right hand holds your left knee. Sit up tall, placing your left hand behind you. Remember the importance of breathing steadily. If you can't keep the breath in and out of equal length, back away from the twist. Now press down through both hands, pulling your left shoulder back to deepen the cleansing action of the twist in your back muscles. And turn your head to the left to complete the rotation. Again, you can sweep your arm behind your back to hold your right thigh, leaning forward slightly may help you get a better grip. But again, it's fine, perhaps even better, to have your hand on the floor behind you. Steady breathing. And even though the back is being squeezed, it's not stiff. Inhale, release. Exhale, facing forward. Sitting or standing, raise your arms parallel to the floor in front of you, palms up at chest height. Notice that when the palm faces up, your inner arm near the shoulder is turned up as well. If your neck and shoulder muscles are very tight, this movement is compromised and can cause your muscles as well as your shoulder joint to be vulnerable to injury. Keep your arm shoulder width as you bend your right elbow and place your fingers on your shoulder. Hold your right arm in your left hand. First, gently pull the arm forward, directing the flow through the underarm so the top of your shoulder stays quiet. Now gently turn the upper arm in a way that helps the inner arm lift 
and the outer shoulder drop. You'll know you're turning in the right direction if your elbow point comes slightly toward the midline as I'm showing. Continue to gently turn and pull as you raise the elbow near your ear. With your fingers, push gently down on the top of your shoulder blade. You may feel as you lift your elbow, your arm tries to pull sideways or your right hand moves towards the center spine. That's the pattern that puts stress on the shoulder. So keep your arm shoulder width apart even if you barely raise your elbow. Go slowly. Try to release the resistance and increase the rotation with each out breath. Now lower the elbow and release your right arm to your side. Stretch your left arm forward, palm up. Holding your upper arm with your right hand, pull the arm forward, moving from the underarm and gently rotating to drop and relax the outer shoulder. Bend your elbow and place your fingers on your shoulder with the arm no wider than shoulder width. Breathe in, raise the left elbow. Breathing out, push your shoulder blade down. Continue to gently rotate the arm in a way that invites the elbow point toward the midline of your body. If you feel your muscles tightening or resisting, lower your arms slightly. Our goal is not to raise the arm so much as it is to refine understanding of proper shoulder alignment. You may also notice your lower back tries to arch your body's attempt to borrow the movement from that area. Confine the action to your shoulder. Steady breathing. Inhale, release. Exhale, lowering your arms. Keep a memory of this exercise when practicing any poses in which you stretch your arms overhead. your back and pull your knees to your chest for reclining belly twist. Hold your left knee. Breathing in, stretch your right leg up and breathing out, lower it to the floor. You'll keep your right leg active throughout the pose. On your next breath in, roll to your right, bringing your left knee all the way to the floor and stretching your left arm up. And really reach with that arm. It's not about position, it's about action. Lift the shoulder blade. And then exhaling, stretch the arm out to the left, bringing it halfway to the floor. If this twist bothers your lower back, you can support your knee on a block. Turn your head to the left to gaze at your hand and breathe steadily. Keeping your hand lifted, exhale and press your left shoulder toward the mat, holding for a moment. And then press it again. Your shoulder may or may not come to the floor. Continue to stretch the arms strongly. Breathing in, release, and coming back to center, knees to chest. Hold the right knee, breathing in, stretch the left leg up, and breathing out, lower it to the mat. 
skin, the leg stays active throughout the pose. Breathing in, roll to the left. Letting the exhalation bring your knee to the floor and your right arm reaching strongly up. Relax your breathing. Now inhaling, reach to the right, lowering the arm halfway to the floor and turning your head to gaze at your hand. Keeping your right arm active, Exhale and press your shoulder to the floor. This will increase the work in your upper back and help remove some of the tension there. And try to relax the back. That will help your twist go further as well. Inhale, release, come back to center hugging the knees to the chest. Stand in mountain pose. Tall spine, steady breathing. Breathing in, stretch your arms overhead. Strongly extending up, freeing your shoulder blades and collarbones, and elongating your sides. Hold your left wrist with your right hand, and exhaling, stretch over to your right. Keep your breathing steady, letting each exhalation stretch the left ribs and waist more. Keep your hips fixed over your feet. Breathe in to release and change sides. Left hand holds right wrist and pulls. Stretching to the left. Again, each out breath accentuates the stretch. Long waist, keeping the hips centered. Inhale, release. Stretching the arms up one more time before lowering them to your sides. Stand at the head of your mat with your feet hip width apart and parallel with each other. Inhale, hinge over from your hips and exhale to standing forward bend. Bend your knees, placing your left elbow against your outer right knee and joining your palms in prayer position. Press your hands together and spread your elbows. If you're unable to take this position, hold your right ankle with your left hand, placing your right hand on your hip. Gaze down and center your torso on the midline. Steady breathing. Leading with your left leg, slowly straighten your knees, keeping your torso centered. Back away from the twist a bit if your breathing is strained. To challenge this twist more, bend your knees again, and with your hands in prayer position, pull your thumbs to your chest. Slowly re-straighten your knees. Turn your head to the right. Your knees may not be able to straighten completely.
release and hang down. Bending your knees, right elbow to the outer left knee, palms in prayer position. Or hold your ankle with your right hand, left hand on the hip. Align your torso with the midline and begin slowly straightening your knees, leading with the right knee. Notice how doing this on an exhalation helps. If you wish to deepen the pose, bend your knees again. Lifting your chest slightly, pull your hands in prayer position near the chest. Steady whisper breathing. With an exhalation, straighten your knees as much as possible. Keep the alignment of your torso on the midline and your breathing steady. Rotate your head to the left. Inhale, release. Exhale, hang down. Breathing in, stand up. Breathing out, lower your arms, joining your hands in prayer position at your chest. Stand at the head of your mat in mountain pose. Stand tall and tune into your breathing. Any breath sounds more audible in your throat than in your nose and create a small whisper sound in the base of your throat to help to keep you focused as you move into sun salutation. Breathing in, arms up. Breathe out to powerful pose. Hinging forward slightly and hold. Breathe in, breathing out, hinge deeper till you're parallel to the floor and place your hands on the mat. Breathing in, step your right foot back to lunge pose. Knee over heel, facing forward, and hips level with your front knee. Keep the back legs stretched and your heart open. And remember, whisper breathing in and out through a closed mouth. Breathing in, step back, and breathe out to downward facing dog pose. Start with bent knees and high sits bones. Keep your neck long, head between your arms. Steady breathing. Slowly stretch your heels towards the rear of the mat to begin straightening your knees. Straighten your knees only if you can keep the lift of your sits bones. Now breathing in, begin to shift your shoulders forward and breathing out, draw your belly in, coming to plank pose. Press down through your hands and the backs of your arms, navel to spine. Now come to hands and knees, moving your hands several inches forward. Breathing in, bend your elbows. Breathing out, scoop your chest forward along the floor and up to cobra pose with slightly bent elbows. Side ribs forward, chest up and gaze slightly down. Each breath in, lift the chest. Each breath out, draw the belly in and up to support your low back.
Now lower yourself to the floor, resting your head on your hands and separating your feet slightly wider than hip width. Be conscious of the exhalation, drawing your navel toward the spine. A complete, efficient breath out will naturally do that. And your tail lengthens toward your feet to encourage stability in the lower back and grounding in the legs. Let's do locust pose. Breathing in, raise your right leg off the floor. Breathing out, stretch the leg toward the rear of your mat, turning your front thigh in as you do so. Continue to breathe steadily. Inhale, lower your leg and relax. Breathing in, raise your left leg. Breathing out, stretch it towards the rear of the mat, turning your front thigh in. Continue to elongate the back of the leg and then lower to the floor and rest. Let's do another variation of locust pose. Because of the effort of this pose, pay more attention to your breathing. Mouth closed. Exhales equal to inhales. Rest your forehead on the mat and stretch your arms back by your hips. Turning your palms in, raise your hands several inches from the floor. Keeping your head down, pull your arms toward the rear of your mat to lift your collarbones and open your chest. Now pressing the feet down, breathe in and raise the chest off the floor, keeping the neck long. Breathe out, stretch the arms toward the rear of the mat while drawing the navel in and up. Hold this pose. Each breath in, expand and lift the chest. Each breath out, drawing the navel in and up. Gaze down. Inhale, release. Exhale, rest your head on your hands in crocodile pose. Place your hands under your shoulders, spread your fingers, forehead down. You can reposition your hands a little further forward if your back bends are still stiff. Breathing in, curl your head and chest off the floor and hold. Breathing out, push with your arms to come higher to classic cobra pose with your elbows slightly bent. Continue gently pushing your shoulders back as you slide your side ribs forward and up and lengthen the neck, gazing slightly down. Each breath in, expand the chest. Each breath out, draw the belly in and up. Curl your toes under, breathing in and breathe out to downward facing dog pose. Step your left foot forward to your hands to full lunge. Knee over heel, hips level with the front knee. Back leg strongly stretching. Now step forward. Feet hip width apart. To standing forward bend and simply hang, resting your hands in your elbows.
This inverted pose will slow your breathing and feel your exhalations grow increasingly long. It's fine to keep your knees slightly bent. Mostly you want to feel the weight of gravity pulling your torso towards the floor. Now bend your knees deeply, sweeping the arms forward, come parallel to the floor and hold. Long neck, navel in. Breathe in and breathe out to powerful pose. Knees slightly bent, arms stretching up. Inhale again, straighten your knees. Breathing out, lowering your arms. Palms in prayer position at your chest. 